there money to be made? I always keep my options open. Rise to the top or get left in the dust. Let us not dawdle. Keep your wits about you. Always keep your eye on the prize. I always have a backup plan. Uh, thank Providence you are alive and well. Always on time, eh, Coonrad? The moment we finish chasing the riffraff around the deck, you show up. Always just after the fighting's done. You could set your chrono by it. Mort, hold yourself together. What, did the Lord Captain send you to chivy us along? We're all done here. I'll report right away. Master of Whispers, what is happening on my ship? The Voxnet is silent. The Vox Master is not responding. Armed assailants have stormed the officer's deck, and my arch militant just destroyed several more heretics on the way here. Is this a severe case of warp madness? Have some of my crew lost their minds and forgotten who they are and whom they serve? Report! I have not yet received word from the Engineerium regarding any Gellerfield failures, but communications were already unstable half an hour ago, and now they have ceased altogether. Whatever the cause may be, the consequences are spreading fast. I am receiving scattered reports from the middle decks, and the only Vox casts from the lower bays are one-way heretical gibberish. That the madmen have already reached the officer's deck suggests that this outrage was planned in advance. Perhaps this is an organized mutiny. Lunatics, fools, heretics. This ship houses thousands upon thousands of people. Pernicious thoughts and warp-induced delusions could have tainted any one of them. It is a difficult notion to accept, but such risks are inescapable. First, we have to confirm that the bridge and the navigator's sanctum are secure. And I have the means to do both things at once. Edelthrad, where is he? I must know if he is unharmed. A psyker aboard a ship that is potentially being assailed by the warp could pose a greater threat to himself and others than a whole army of madmen with improvised weapons. I tried to locate him, but the last thing known about his movements is that he arrived on Transitional Deck 18. Blast it! Master of Whispers, find Edelthrad immediately. Seneschal, locate Tlas and the Sister of Battle. Both are to remain at my side. Arch Militant, with me. I must go to my study. And it appears we might encounter heretics along the way.
If I may, Lord Captain. Transitional Deck 18 is at the heart of the disturbance, and if our goal is to bring Edelthrad back, I could use some support. After all, I'm not as adept at directly confronting enemies of the House as the esteemed Arch Militant, and taking into consideration Edelthrad's psycho powers. Then it's settled. Find Edelthrad and bring him here. In whatever state you find him. This elevator leads to restricted compartments such as my personal chambers and the bridge. Do not let me down. I require you both. Do you understand? <coughs> We're in the war. Considering the attack, there could be a disruption in the Geller field and the infiltration of malevolent forces onto the decks. Psychus can react to such things in the most unpredictable ways. Get off! Master of Whispers, you must not allow my heir to turn into a mindless mutant and to perish under Enforcer Fire. Do whatever it takes to bring Edelthrad back to me. Then move out! Mort, come! Are you ready to head to 18? It is a long walk, and you do not even have proper gear. Oh, certainly. Lady Theodora would be devastated if she were to lose one of her precious heirs. But that is no longer relevant. Careful, careful. Be gentle with our guest. He has an important mission to complete during our visit to the Warrant Chamber. And for that, I need him breathing. Oh, you are back with us, I see. Delightful. How perceptive of you. I'll help you with the next insight. I need you here for your blood. You have the option to share it, voluntarily, or I will squeeze it out of you myself. We are in the anteroom of the Warren Chamber, this void ship's most hallowed vault. There, beyond those gates, lies the relic that gives Theodora all of her power. The sacred Warren of Trade. Only one obstacle remains on my path to obtaining it. The gates of the chamber are guarded by the Sentinel, an ancient device that will only open the door to a true heir of the dynasty. I expected to do this part myself, but never mind. You will offer your blood to the Sentinel. Why? Because I am following an order what is happening on this ship right now has been in the making for a very long time. All that remains is to obtain what my master sent me for. The warrant of trade. On the contrary, 
The Warp's blessing has raised me too much above your kind, Fon Valencius. The Sentinel refused to submit to me. But you can help. After all, isn't that what family is for? Did you forget something? I suggest you hurry. High levels of caustic humors. The subject is in a state of heightened stress. Do you require assistance? Genetic code identified. Child of House von Valencius. Do you require assistance?
Request accepted. Initiating defense protocol. Is there money to be made? Rise to the top, or get left in the dust. Escort the child of the house to safety. Temporary obnubilation following acute stress. Mobile unit of the Warren Sentinel standing by. Mobile unit of the Warren Sentinel, designed as a personal escort of the child of the house and a means of communicating with the rogue trader's subjects. Mobile unit standing by. Voxcast frequencies disrupted. Initiating setup. Establishing connection. Communication protocols breached. Signal latency assessment unavailable. Unable to establish two-way connection. Distance from the current location to the nearest arsenal. Initiating situational calculations. Middle and upper decks. Assuming the probability of safe placement in areas of concentration of armed units, calculating. To prevent unauthorized units from breaching the warrant chamber, preemptive sealing must be initiated. The mobile unit will start executing the received order immediately after the safety of the warrant is secured. Let us know Doro. I always keep my options open. Master! What? Whatever are you doing in the Warren Chamber? How did you... Throne, preserve me! What is the meaning of this? What? God, 
Emperor. I presume he is the one responsible for the mutiny. Bandmaster, I wish to remind you that you are to refer to the Lord Captain as Lady Theodora. Saints blood! And it is small wonder that the heretics are so well organized. I thought his order to seal the passages between decks was his attempt to stop the attackers from spreading to other levels. But now I see the real reason. It was to stop the enforcers from intervening. At least you are alive and now safe, Master. Alas, I doubt we can afford to look for a compartment to sit out this disaster. Hmm, you're in a bad way. I can treat your wounds. I have a Medicaid kit with me. And for the love of the throne, now is not a good time to be walking around the decks without means of self-defense. Here. Always keep your eye on the price. I always have a backup plan. Is there money to be made?
Miscalculations are for What advice do you seek? I have a no Look no further. I will lead us. Sometimes you consult the appropriate treaties on Tactica Imperialis and weigh every step. Sometimes, though, you just fire your biggest cannon and save the day. This wound will make a fine scar. How? That is a noticeable improvement. Now you're prepared for the trials ahead. The lower decks are teeming with heretics, instigating the rabble to revolt. But that is the least of our problems. The ship's enforcers are rounding up the scoundrels and suppressing the resistance. The situation on the middle decks is much worse, although strike teams have already been dispatched there. All communication with the bridge and the engineering bay was lost. So, apart from scattered voxcasts, we have no information to go on. But that is not the worst of it. All these jolts and shaking are most alarming. These are signs that the Navigator and the Master Helmsman are having difficulty translating the ship out of the wall and into real space. I fear that they may have already lost control. We must reach the Navigator's Sanctum and get a handle on the situation. If we can manage that, some aboard this vessel may yet survive. I am no Helmsman. Oh, God Emperor, preserve me, Navigator. However, I have spent my entire life aboard void ships equipped with warp drives, and I know that portents such as these do not bode well. It could be that the Geller field has faltered. Perhaps the Navigator was struck down by warp corruption and is fighting for the last shreds of his humanity as we speak. If we get thrown off course, we will be forever lost in the war. Naturally, we would likely not have long to live in that scenario. But I will not resign myself to such an outcome just yet. You sent me a Vox message. Specifically, a Vox cast on the officer's frequency, which I had the good fortune to receive. You mean to say you did no such thing? Warren Sentinel? The Lord Captain barely ever ventures down to the chamber, and I was at her side only once or twice when she did. And I did not see anything of the sort. The Warren Chamber is an ancient and rather sacred mechanism that the ship's tech priests treat with the utmost reverence. I assume that whatever it is that you did, you must have activated certain processes and caused the Sentinel to awaken. But then, why did none of it happen when Lady Theodora did the same? During warp transit, the Sanctum is closed to all who are not involved in traversing the Empyrean. And for good reason. For the Navigator to open their third eye and perceive the way, the Sanctum must be bathed in the energies of the Immaterial. Only a Navigator can withstand such an ordeal. For the rest of us, any contact with the warp is fraught with perils such as loss of sanity, spontaneous mutations, and death. Lady Theodorus. Which one? The last one I received was about the Navigator's Sanctum, and that was a good while ago. In any case, let us hope that the Lord Captain is well, and safely in charge of the ship's defense. In the meantime, we must do all we can to prevent the ship from veering off course. Absolutely. Let us proceed. To arms, loyal sons and daughters of the God Emperor! Fight the heresy and corruption that threatens to consume our home! And with all your might, destroy those who have dared! The Lord Captain is calling her crew to battle. 
Which means the Vox networks are set up for broadcast transmission, not message exchange. Splendid. While the rogue trader inspires proper resolve to fight in her subjects, you and I shall prove that her trust in us is well deserved. Onward! You will on my next offering of power! Don't you dare to cross us! Your Emperor won't save you! powers! Tried and tested tactics are the best ones. as good as done. Who if not? Your end was inevitable. Thank you. 
duty go hand Chaos in hand. Chaos guides me. I will do my best. Suffered worse. down. I don't need luck. I have strategy. He never stood a chance. Fate and fortune favor the bold.
Let's not waste time with... Clint. Your Seneschal is always there for you. What advice do you see? We are the spearhead of... I the will lead us to fortune. Keep your wits about you. I always keep my options open. Rise to the top, or get left in the dust. Always keep your eye on the prize. <laughs> 